I should try this. I have decided to join Mini Jam, which is three days long, and will be making the game in SDL2. Theme is UFO, and the limitation will be announced when the jam starts. Now I am going to tell you about my idea. The Earth will be in the center. A UFO will revolve around it while dodging the lights coming from the Earth. Otherwise, humans will get to know about the UFO and destroy it. So the limitation is fish as a mechanic. As I want my game easy to develop, I'm going to follow my previous idea, and the UFO will collect fishes. Okay, so what I did today is followed Coder Goofers tutorial and set up SDL2 project and Sublime Text. And finally, I have this output window. Ugly. Your opinion does it matter? Now I got other things to do. I mean, I got a life other than programming. So that's all for today. Followed Coder Gophers tutorial again, and now I can display sprite on the screen. Hmm. Now I have to figure out how to make this ugly UFO revolve. Finally, found the solution. I wish I would have given more attention to maths classes. Okay, so I was watching some devlogs of the game made in SDL2, and I found this. Instead, I used a little bit of trigonometry to move the player based on its rotation rotation working so we can now bind this to a key and everything should be okay let's see never mind i'm not gonna tell this to my viewers i just blinked and it's already the last day ugly okay now i'm gonna make the art for motivating me to work on this now it's looking better Maybe I should keep the earth rotating. It's 1:30 a.m. here and only 8 hours are left for the submission and this is my game. To complete this, I have to learn multi-threading, make the game playable and make the user interface. I don't think it's possible right now. Therefore, I'm giving up and going to make the game in Godo. I slept after working on the game and woke up very late. Worked on user interface right after waking up, and this is how the game is looking now. As per the rules, it was allowed to submit late. Therefore, I messaged the host on Discord and submitted when he replied. You can download and play the game if you wish. I had enough time, but I was learning very slowly. Next time, I will not repeat this mistake, and hopefully, will make a game with STL2. Thanks for watching.